Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Dr. Doom, who happens to be one of the members picks of the month. He made his first appearance in Fantastic Four issue number five that was released in July of 1962. His real name is Victor Van Doom, and he stands six feet two inches tall and weighs 225 pounds. Although when he's wearing his armor, he stands six feet seven inches tall and weighs 415 pounds, having brown eyes and brown hair. Now, Doom is a very unique figure within the Marvel Universe, being one of the most genius minds on Earth, as well as being one of the most proficient sorcerers and magic wielders on Earth, which naturally makes him a force to be reckoned with. Although many of his mystical powers were derived from three demons called the Hazareth Three, and he lost some of these abilities when he angered them, Dr. Doom has exhibited the ability to emit mystical blasts, force fields, evoke entities, cast and reverse spells, teleport through space, multiple dimensions and time, absorb the powers of others, heal himself and those around him, as well as exercise a degree of elemental control, being able to manipulate localized weather patterns. And these were just a few of his magical abilities. Honestly, as you'll see in a minute, it's very hard to determine what Doom is using when he exhibits his powers, be it mystical forces or just technological means that he's developed through his massive genius. He'd also be what's considered a human mutate, over the years learning how to enhance himself from various aliens and other mutants, such as the Oivoids race and the Marquis of Death. This has given him a wide range of psionic abilities, being able to transfer his mind into other beings, hypnotize those that are weak around him, exhibit technopathy and control over technologies around him, as well as just full-blown telekinesis, and he can even nullify or block the full power of other superpowered beings around him, which he's shown on multiple occasions with the Fantastic Four. Dr. Doom's amazing extreme intelligence has also allowed him to become one of the greatest martial artists in the world, beating Captain America, Black Panther, and Taskmaster over the years, sometimes without even having the aid of his technology or magic. He's also extremely charismatic and influential, using his political position as the leader of Latveria for various purposes. Dude is just very cultured and suave, and people pick up on that. And to top it all off, he has an extreme indomitable will, likely having the strongest willpower of anyone on Earth. He's able to resist psychic attacks from some of the most powerful telepaths in the Marvel Universe, simply using his willpower alone. And that's not to mention that when he was once tortured in hell, he did not let out one single cry of pain the whole time. His willpower itself could possibly be considered a superhuman ability. And when you consider that this man has all of these abilities and then put that in a special titanium alloy nuclear powered suit that was also magically enhanced, you have a beast on your hands. Now, the suit itself has so many abilities that I won't even name them all. Just put it this way, it's a slightly less strong Iron Man suit. Being able to lift what I estimate to be around 80 tons, yet also possessing unique esoteric types of capabilities, such as your teleportation and time travel tech, as well as little details like the armor possessing actual splinters of the true cross of Jesus Christ in it, which Doom claims that he added to give himself more resistance to undead enemies, such as Dracula. I tell you, man, this guy has thought of it all. Now, Victor Von Doom was born in a Romani camp in the tiny kingdom of Latveria, which was located in the Balkan mountains of Eastern Europe. While he was still a baby, his mom Cynthia died performing a spell that went wrong with Mephisto, which would later lead Victor to have a major grudge against this powerful demon. Nevertheless, a few years went by, and while he was still just a boy, his father named Werner Von Doom, who was known as a healer in the region, was recruited to save the wife of the Latvian Baron, but he was unable to heal her illness. Werner would then take Victor and leave his home, trying to escape the ruler's retaliation, only to die himself in the cold. Victor would survive, but to this harsh beginning to life would set the stage for his tyrannical personality. Subsequent to this, Victor would come across his mother's chest of magical artifacts, and that's when he first realized that she was actually a witch. He would study up in the ways of his mother and develop a true talent for sorcery and also science. This would ultimately lead to him getting a scholarship to State University in the US, 
which is where he would first meet his fellow student, Reed Richards, who would become Mr. Fantastic, as well as Ben Grimm, who would become The Thing. Victor and Reed would develop an interesting relationship, becoming more like rivals than true friends. But to one day, Victor would really decide to try to contact his mother in the afterlife, actually inventing an interdimensional communication device. But when Reed would happen to notice Doom's notes one day and point it out to him the error in his calculations, Victor would get furious, feeling that Reed had invaded his privacy. This prompted him to hurry along and activate his device anyway, which then failed and actually exploded, scarring Victor's face. Being angry, embarrassed, and expelled from school because of this, Doom would leave, roaming about for a long time, blaming Reed for what happened. He would eventually make his way to Tibet, where an order of monks helped him forge the metal mask and armor that he would wear in his new role as Dr. Doom. This mystically imbued armor was extremely powerful, and with it constantly being evolved with his magical and technological expertise, he would become nearly unstoppable. Dr. Doom, as it was, would now return to Latveria and overthrow the current ruler, making himself the king of his homeland, while also plotting to make himself the ruler of the world. He would win over the love of his nation's people, as well as develop an army of Doombots to enforce his rule. He would even adopt a young orphan named Christoph Vernard, who would step in from time to time to rule the nation whenever Doom was absent. Victor would also go on to become part of Marvel's Cabal, but he would end up leaving the group over differences with Norman Osborn. He would even play a major role during the Secret Wars, actually working with Molecule Man and Doctor Strange to salvage portions of reality as a new battle world. An extremely powerful, almost godlike Doom would then make himself the ruler of this place, installing Sue Richards, aka Invisible Woman, as his wife, and having Valeria and Franklin Richards as his children. It was only when Reed Richards, who had survived the destruction of his reality, appeared on Battleworld that Doom's control started to slip. When Doom was finally beaten, Reed then recreated reality with his family and Molecule Man, also healing Doom's scarred face, giving him a new lease on life. For a good while after this, Doom actually started acting like a hero, even becoming the new Iron Man when Tony Stark was temporarily out for the count. But when Doom was scarred again while fighting the Hood, he retreated broodingly back into his castle. This is when he was asked by Zora Vokovic to help restore Latveria to its former glory, which was all he needed. He placed his mask back on, and the old Doctor Doom was back in action. Now, due to his powers and abilities, and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Doctor Doom a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.